Welcome back to Iterates. This is week 182, day four. Um, we only have one defense to uh, rematch to watch, so let's take a look at that. All right, we got an Erika plus one plus three, blade session reposition. Thor plus two with flyer for flyer guidance and smite. Naga plus two flowers, hardy bearing mumbo smite. Plumeria plus two. Iceberg Wings Mercy Aerobatics. Ninjalin, three flowers. A reposition, disarm trap, and attack speed solo. And finally, Ascend the Fjorn, plus one, plus five, with Fortress Death Rest and Deflect Magic. Fortress Death Rest, interesting. Oh, and reposition. And they got a dual indulgence. So here they do something weird, because they know they're baiting out Lilina, and they know she has an AoE special that does out of combat damage. So Fjorn takes massive damage. So yeah, that's a lot of unnecessary damage to take right there. From here on, they move to take out Trasir. You're finished. And then go after Sears. And finish off a three with Erica. So their plan here is to far save with Yorm, but they forgot that Marv has even Tempest, so he can reach Lin. But our mission. And even if he didn't, he would have gone in and broken the uh, uh what's it called? that breakable wall in front of Ceros and then she would have moved in and killed him regardless. Yeah, but that was enough for them. So let's go with our match for today. What do we got? Okay, we got another cab line. A lot of cab lines. People like cab lines. They're just easy, I guess. Mm, no seventh unit. Sigur. Marvelous. Um, for this, I guess I could use Ike. Put like Ike over here and then tank with Fjorn from here, just so I can take on Wrath. Ah, uh, without having to worry about the poison strike. I guess Sigurd can move one, two, three, but if he moves this way, he'll be out, and he's going to move this way, since it's his only path to uh, the bottom. He'll outrange Miravelous. Uh, again, Thrasir could move two, get Dance, and go after, but that would be a Fionn area, so yeah. Um... This is three spaces below, so we'll go with Ike Fjorm. Just like Fafnir. We'll go like this, like this. Mm. I guess you can go over here and Nara can hide afterwards. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't see why not go like this. I mean, I cast Nolsey, so I don't have to worry about the fire sweep. Um, turn one, of course, nothing happens because 
defense. I guess I could force turn one by just putting out uh, like somebody over here. But that will break this spot, forcing Sigur. I guess Sigur doesn't matter which way he goes. One, two, three. He'll won't reach Mirabilis. And Trasier doesn't. Yeah. All of this will attack because there's no seventh unit. And Trasier will not I be will able go. to attack Elamin if she's here. Or we can do it like this. You can break this and move one up. Then you move here. You move here. Alamin moves right here. So I can still in range of her. Although I doesn't really need Wrath. I mean, this is, I'm making it a lot more complicated than it needs to be. This is not actually that difficult. I just want to start a game off on you. turn one. By your will. Speak. What is your desire? We're off! <laughs> Alright, nice city. Reinhardt. Huh? It should yeah. be Raph. Huh. Huh. And why did she only move one space? That was weird. Regardless, he doesn't even have Holy Night Aura. He didn't even have like um, Quick and Pulse. So. This should be fun. Um. We're off. Guess I can just nudge you and then put you like up here. This is only turn two, so yeah. So we'll activate scared. your special to prevent to give you guard. It's time. Let's do it. I will go. This should be fun. Yes. Over here? I seek a foe. And then we'll figure out what to do with Mirabilis. That's it, right? Both eaters. By your will. Show me your strength. All right, that was pretty easy. Definitely should. Try to get a seven unit in there just to make it a little more <clears throat> a 
uh, give it some kind of like um, initiation or something. If you're going to run Mirabilis like that in a cab line or cabs line ish. Um, so let's see how you guys are doing so far. It's still, again, early in the afternoon. So Kenny Gaps, Matt Kako, Dark Luster. ECLA, Promise, Lamras, Neo Swordsman, CMA, Oron, Michael, Logan, Yakiomi, Ray Blitz, Eva, Diego, Ducks, Bean, Alan, and Amethyst. As for summoning, I think we do have one banner we can summon. Oh, yeah, Heroes with Menace. Um, as far as menace, all three of them are good because technically all three of them are solid choices. You have access to the menace and attacker solo, a menace and attack div solo or die bomb, and a menace and a de attack dev catch or lot attack. Well, no, there's not like a lot of attack dev throw, but we do have a. I think we have attack defense catch three somewhere. So death res, attack res, and attack death. Um, not sure which one to go for. What is it? Blue, red, green. Blue, red, green. Blue, red, green. Literally all of them. Uh -huh. Red is the single one, so we'll go red, I guess. Cool, red was the right choice. We got Fallen Male Morgan. Who is a pretty strong unit in his own right. Uh, plus defense minus speed. Speed is like his dumb stand anyway. Yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, we already have him. We were able to get all of the... Falling heroes from that particular banner. Let's see. So yeah, we got. Yeah, there was easier. We got the brave heroes. Falling heroes. And all my former souls. So yeah, we got him right here, a plus attack. We also have female Morgan. Fallen Edgar and that fourth one that came in that banner was um, Fallen Dimitri. So we were able to get all four of them on the same banner be, um, before we spark, I believe. Which I'm excited for this year's Fallen banner because I like Fallen heroes. Uh, so we'll see what we get this year. Will we get another Fallen Edelgar? That is a unit that, even though like there's counters to her more and more these days, and she's you can deal with her, she's still a unit that if you're not prepared, she will just run over your team like it's nothing. And out of those four, she's the one that became the most prevalent, of course. Everyone knows. But, you know, like Dimitri can run like that. Yuri, I mean... Uh, Ninja Yari said for quads without being able uh, to get reattack, and then Morgan is super bulky and she can run this encounter really easily. Male Morgan is another unit that is just a really powerful mage uh, frontliner. So, one I'm waiting for, which I think it won't be, I think it will be like a little over a year now uh, until it comes, is male Corin's uh, refined since I have like four copies of him so when his refine comes around then um, we'll see what we get I mean female Corin I don't have that many copies of her so um, but yeah that is pretty much it for today so thank you all for watching I'll see you all next time 
Bye.